Hi, you guys. Happy Saturday to you guys. This is Prophetess Afia Sabrina Acampo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, test in the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And the Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tie to you guys of this prophetic word is that tree has been uprooted. That tree has been uprooted. I'm going to say that again. One for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That tree has been uprooted. So you guys, I'm actually driving on yesterday and I see a tree that had been plucked up at the very root, at the very root cause of that thing. And the Holy Spirit reiterated of I'm revealing to redeem and reveal along with confirming that my words are coming to pass in your life even now, for I have heard your prayers in every word that you have been specifically saying to me. Holy Spirit is saying, I'm uprooting just as you have been asking from the center of that thing, from the start of that thing, from the heart of that thing, and from the core of that very thing. And I'm delivering and vindicating every root and every bad fruit that does not represent me and I'm replacing it with good fruit. Come on, Jesus. Won't he do it? Holy Spirit provided me scripture of Jeremiah 17 and 8. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. The Lord is saying this is exactly the position that I am placing you even in this now season. I am now delivering you out of dryness into fruitfulness. And I had to cut and wither away some things and bring forth your spring season and even your season of harvest, the Holy Spirit is saying. I cut the cord of everything that caused prevention and destruction and entered you into your time of yielding and producing and investment on your return, Holy Spirit is saying. I've had to eliminate all toxic waste causing you accessibility, cause you to have accessibility to embrace and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Holy Spirit gave me scripture and even word of a permanent removal. That thing to never return. He gave me Mark 11, 22 through 24. Have faith in God. Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen. It will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. Holy Spirit is saying, I gave you an indi indicator of circumstantial evidence to let you know the proof is in the pudding. I'm in charge. And my hands have entered in and have taken over. Because you have consistent faith and kept pushing, this is the very thing that was presented to you at face value. Because I'm telling you, that tree that I saw, it was all the way over up at the root, every root that was in that tree, at the bottom of that tree. It was up out of the ground. You could see the whole stump. So he placed it in my face to let, to, to let me know. I'm showing you circumstantial evidence. I'm showing you that the proof is in the pudding. I'm showing you that what I say, I will do. And if my word says it, that settles it. 
of what is happening. I have taken that tree out of the ground and knocked it off the hinges, my child. No more will you be limited. The chains have been broken. Listen to Tasha Cobb's Break Every Chain. And your life has been changed. Your life will never be the same. Holy Spirit is saying, I have drove out, eliminated, rid of, once and for all. Holy Spirit is further saying, I've overthrown, destroyed, and condemned anything that would get in the way of the birthing because the time is now of your new fruits being produced. It's time for everything that he imparted in you and deposited in you to come out. It has already been released in the spiritual. The Lord has said it's coming out now in the physical. I've chopped down, cut down. And that tree of chaos and discord has been uprooted. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has said now go forth in production of good plants and crops that are going to place you at the very top of the spectrum. Because your land is now sprouting up. Your fruits are now sprouting up. Genesis 1 and 11. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation. Seed bearing plants and tree on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds. And it was so. That tree has been uprooted and fruitfulness, multiplication, replenishing, and subduing in your land of promise has been introduced and initiated. That tree has been uprooted, thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has been edifying, exhortating, and exalting, and you were definitely able to get a revelation and an understand of what these Raymond words were saying because the Lord is saying he's not playing. The proof is in the pudding. I'm going to display the evidence right at face value so you can see that I am not playing what I said I will do. And if my word says it, that settles it. That tree has been uprooted at the very root, the very heart, the very core, and the very center of that thing. The Lord says he's not playing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. The Lord is saying, and I've done it because it's time for you to move in forward momentum. It's time for you to go forth into all that I have inherited. Your promises of yea and amen have arrived. And the proof is in the pudding and the evidence is now visible. That tree has been uprooted. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I am telling you, they keep me coming fast forward by the all-knower one and gives me renewed strength and give me that power that won't wait. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best. In the mighty name of Jesus, take care and we will most certainly talk on the next and have a blessed and phenomenal weekend. Just in case I get the next word uploaded and forget to say it, let me go ahead on and say it in advance. Have a phenomenal weekend, a safe traveling race weekend. I love you guys. We will talk on the next. God bless you. Richly. Bye-bye.